Serving is one of my favorite things to do. My parents have always wanted me to help those around me, and I guess they taught me well. Thomas S. Monson, a religious leader, once said, Unless we lose ourselves in service to others, there is little purpose to our own lives. And I know that serving is a time to be selfless, but today I would like to talk about how serving can impact your own life. Serving can make us happier and healthier mentally and physically. So if serving makes us happier, we should probably figure out what true happiness is. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary says that happiness is a state of well-being and contentment. And this is how we often define happiness. But if we take a closer look, we'll find that happiness is not in the moment. Happiness is lasting joy and usually comes from an experience shared with those that we care about. Happiness can spread quickly and can change the world. When someone else is happy, they can affect you. I was able to attend a few kids who I'd never met before at a Christmas event. One of the girls who I will call Brilli was Down syndrome. You could tell her family did not have very much, but she was still super happy and excited to be around everyone. And all of her siblings were the same way. Even when life wasn't quite fair, they stayed positive, and this has really affected me. So when um, you find something that makes you happy, you naturally want to keep doing this. You create a loop of happiness for yourself, and you'll continue to be happy for an extended period of time. So how does serving actually improve our happiness? Serving gives us a sense of purpose. You have a goal and something to aim towards. Goldie Hawn, an American actress, said that giving back is as good for you as it is for those who are helping because giving gives you purpose. And when you have a purpose-driven life, you're a happier person. And this is very true. When you serve, you feel like you have a purpose in life. The United Health Group conducted a study of people who have volunteered in the past 12 months. 96% of these people said that after volunteering, they felt like they had more of a purpose. Also, seeing those who are serving and the people you are with be happy can make you happier. When I saw Brinley and her siblings being happy, my mood was almost immediately brightened. Knowing that you can help them and that they can help you is very important to remember. Serving also connects you with your surroundings. You can meet new people, go to places, and gain new experiences. And all of these things will bring you happiness. People who serve are also more likely to be social. We have done neighborhood service activities where we are able to meet new people and serve people. It's like hitting two birds with one stone. Serving not only affects your mentality, it can benefit you physically. 76% of people said that after volunteering, they felt healthier. And a lot of service opportunities involve physical work. And this may or may not be the option for you, but if it is, your body will benefit from the exercise. Serving can also bring down stress. It gives you an opportunity to relax and to not think about the stress of everyday life and focus on those you are helping. Serving can also impact how you take care of yourself. If you're too stressed, you might not eat right or sleep enough, and so ser serving can really improve your health. <laughs> so serving is so beneficial, how can you get involved? There are so many different ways you can serve. You can go to Africa and build wells in schools or simply visit the elderly in your neighborhood. Any type of service will do you and those you serve good. There are a lot of different resources for finding service opportunities near you. Just Serve is a website where you can see just, where you can see service opportunities in your area. Community Christmas, Days for Girls, and Pantry Packs with Catholic Community Services are all available in the Ogden area. I have actually been able to participate in these three service opportunities, and it was a wonderful experience. I loved working with new people and meeting those in need. With Days for Girls, I was able to sew feminine hygiene kits for girls in third world countries. It was really interesting to learn about and that's one of my favorite things to do. The important thing though is to find something that interests you. There are so many opportunities and there will be something that you love to do. What's important is that you enjoy what you're doing and you can definitely find <coughs> something you will want to keep doing for a long time. There are three words that will help you remember what to do. Find do, and love. First, you need to find something that you think you can do. Everyone is gifted in their own ways, so you need to find something that you think you will enjoy doing. And if you aren't in a situation to do something big, that's okay. Find the little things that you can do every single day. Second, you need to actually do it. And this is where a lot of people get stuck. You may think, I want to serve and this is a great idea. I'll have to find the time to do it. But this isn't enough. You have to schedule a time, maybe even just five minutes, to actually serve and get involved. Sometimes it's the thought that counts, but not in this case. 
you and those you are serving won't receive the benefits if you don't actually do something. Third, you have to love. This is kind of odd at first, but if you find something, do it, but don't love it, you might not want to do it again. Start the process over. True, there are some things that you won't ever love. The main thing, though, is to serve in love. If you're pouting the whole time, the experience and the outcome won't be the same. Mother Teresa said, not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. The small things and the big things need to be done with love. Love those you're serving and those you're with. Love can make you happier, and serving is a great way to be selfless and love those around you. And if you end up serving in love and loving what you're doing, then keep doing it. Create that loop of happiness for yourself and for those around you. And if you want something new, then just start the process over. There's nothing wrong with doing various types of service. Serving really is important, not only for those you serve. It can improve your happiness and health. Henry German put it this way, happiness consists in giving and serving others. And it really is that simple. I know that you will feel the effects of serving in your life if you just find, do, and love. Thank you.